Dun dun dun! dun. Happy birthday. birthday! Who says that being cute and innocent means you can't pull pranks? Back me up, Xiangling. Okay, let's count to three and you can make a wish. One, two, three! <laughs> hmm. What should I wish for this year? My wish is. aren't even on and there's no one whoa dun dun, 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 dun. Happy, happy birthday what are you two doing why are you sitting in the dark inside my house you scared the bejesus out of me <laughs> yun jin you were totally right she does get spooked it's your birthday so we planned a surprise party for you <laughs> you girls really shouldn't pull these pranks while pretending to be all sweet and innocent. Huh? <laughs> Come on now, what's wrong with that? Who says that being cute and innocent means you can't pull pranks? Back me up, Xiangling. Totally, Yunjin. Goba pulls pranks on me all the time, too. All right, all right, you win. <laughs> Beidou needs to do something today, so she has asked me to deliver her gift to you. So, here they are. A custom-made dagger and the score of a composition from abroad. As for my offerings, I have these gold hairpins and iron hair ties, custom made for you by my family. Iron hair ties? You're telling me that your family used their 1,000 years worth of experience to make Hair ties? What's the problem? Hair ties may look simple and unassuming, but they actually require a lot of intricate craftsmanship to make. <laughs> My gift is one of a kind. A little while ago, I came across a bespectacled blacksmith on the street. The way he worked and talked, it felt almost like he could see right through stones. I was skeptical, so I asked him to help me make a bet. And when the merchant cracked the stone open, there was indeed a piece of raw jade inside. <laughs> I took the jade on the spot and ground it into a pendant, which I then strung on a cord. You can use it as an accessory. Wow. You made a jade pendant for me? Yeah. Oh, don't wear it around your neck. Put it on your guitar. Every day I see how much you pamper that guitar, so I thought you should jazz it up a bit. I don't know if I can bring myself to hang this thing anywhere except in a display case on an altar. Thank you, Xiangling. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> Xiangling has always been thoughtful. But the blacksmith you mentioned, who could see through stones, can you tell me more about him? If the story's interesting enough, I might have to put it into my play. I'm not exactly sure, but I hear that he was sick for a while and was so disoriented during that time that he couldn't remember anything and felt as if his body didn't belong to him. And then, all of a sudden, he recovered. He's all fine now, except for some reason, he can now tell the difference between valuable and worthless stones just by looking at them. Hmm... That's certainly peculiar. Let's not get into that. The food is getting cold. Let's eat! Wait, Xinyan, didn't you pick up a trick from an Outlander merchant? The one you taught me on my last birthday. Huh? Oh, you mean making a birthday wish? <laughs> yes, that's the one. They also light candles and cut cakes in other regions. But we didn't have time for that, because we were too busy bringing the food over. It's fine. I can just use my imagination. Okay, let's count to three and you can make a wish. One, two, three. <laughs> hmm. What should I wish for this year? My wish is... <laughs> 